So, so hi, this is Jarek, uh, Mr. Sloboda's son, and uh, Jarek said that he would like to be uh, the leader of the focus team. So I'm just going to ask Jarek a few questions, and here's my first question to you, uh, Jarek. Um, you asked would there be teachers, so yeah, there would be teachers on the focus team. So if you were the leader of the focus team with, with the teachers, what would you talk about? We would all have a big meeting. And the kids, the students who are so bad, stay after schools and come on Saturdays. Okay. And what else would you talk about? What, what would be important for teachers to talk about, about the things they need to do with kids? They need to start talking way better with them. Really? Saying like, come on, do your more work or else you have to go to like... The principals. Yeah. So if you if you're like the focus team leader, you would be talking to the teachers so that they would be as good as teachers as they can. So what do you think makes a really good teacher? I know what. If I was a teacher, I would really be good at um doing like math and stuff because I know a lot of kids hate doing math. Yeah. What makes a good teacher a good teacher? Like, having fun with the kids. Yeah, what else? Well, always being really good. Yeah. And sometimes getting mad is not good, though. Sometimes getting mad. If you have to get mad, if, if somebody's doing something and they shouldn't be doing, how should a teacher deal with that? They should probably say, come on over to Miss miss julie's office oh really and and don't you think that would scare the kids and they would go like <laughs> <laughs> or we can say go to rob sloboda oh my goodness and then <laughs> and then what would and then what do you think your mr sloboda would do he would probably expel them from school oh my goodness okay so let's get back to the teachers so you said being a good teacher is uh, being nice to kids and then dealing with them when they're naughty what about learning what makes a good teacher a good teacher when they're trying to teach kids things like i would say when you're trying to teach german to a kid yeah it's pretty hard yeah. Because a lot of these kids don't understand how to speak. They know how to speak Indian. Yeah, because a lot of these people are Indian. Yes. So, yeah, but they know, and I don't know why they teach English. Why? But, well, because some people here are French, and we they have to learn English. But in, well, in the people that do speak English um, learn, know how to to speak English, but not a lot of words mm -hmm. that they have to know. So what do you think kids should really learn? Like, what's the really important thing? Science, yes. math, yes. and reading. Science, math, and reading. You think that's really important for all kids, no matter what language? Yep. Okay, so how does a teacher be a good teacher at teaching science, math, and, and reading? Well, they would have to start... Let's start off with science. There's a science person who is really good because we just met some science person. Yeah. He had these big the glass things. Yeah. And I he puts good experiences experiments in there. So and that would be a good science teacher. Oh, the so. science of fame. Because when you do things, are you telling me it's more fun when you do things or when you hear things? When you do things and when you see things with your eyes ears and mouth you talk oh so that makes learning fun mm -hmm. so that it's makes learning fun in science and in reading and in math have you had teachers like that oh well yeah yeah and your and really good teachers did that mm -hmm. and this is something what teachers would normally do in elementary play games with them if they're really good yeah and today we went in one teacher's class who's new today and she um well, had a cool game that she had to give to the old, the other person. Yeah. Do you think that, okay, you're right, in primary they play games and stuff. Do you but think that you can do that at the high school too? Do you think you can, the teachers can kind of do that too or no? Yeah, they can. Yeah? Because at my school, my teachers play. Yes? We play, we make these fun games actually. 
And you think that kids, no matter how, do you think, do you think older kids like to play games too? Sort of, probably. They probably don't though. Why not? Because they're old and they're too lazy to play. <laughs> you think that they're too lazy to play? But, but what if you know you're, I, what I if know you're a high person, school? I know one person in the entire school who likes it. Who? They're the girls. Oh, really? The girls like it? Yeah, because they, they're never lazy except for some girls. I know. <laughs> so basically, you're saying that when you're doing things, seeing things, hearing things, and you're, you get to do it, it's more fun than just kind of hearing it. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. Are you looking forward to your new school year? Yeah. Okay, so if you had one piece of advice to give teachers out there just before they go out and teach wherever they are, either elementary, high school, or middle, what would you say to the teachers of the world right now? Always play games. Never get mad at them if they're not being so bad. And to the high school teachers, you're very good to your kids. And all the other schools elementary, middle, and preschool. Awesome. Thank you so much for this interview, Mr. Sloboda. I really appreciate it.